it is my great honor to introduce to you the man of the hour, the 47th Vice President of the United States, and our next Democratic Presidential nominee, Joe Biden. Today uh, is a stark reminder. Two wounded, three dead. Young man being carried on the stretcher, a stretcher and a press person hears him say, what kind of world is this? What kind of world is this? You all know what happened. You know the shooting not far from here, but Santa Clara. We're now building schools that in fact have abutments so you can hide behind them. We're now working on making sure that we provide children the ability to avoid being shot in school. What does that say about our soul? What does that say about who we are? I really mean this. I'm so tired of people talking about your prayers. Damn it, we have to protect these kids. We have to do it now. Uh, he's a really good speaker, and I was really honored to listen to him talk. Yeah, I, I agreed with everything he said, and we're here on behalf of Planned Parenthood, and so we didn't really get an answer to women's reproductive rights that we were looking for, but all the stuff he was saying about gun laws and climate change and dogs is really important. Vladimir Putin doesn't want me to be president because all those boxes on the air that he's got put out there, they also know that Trump doesn't want me to be the nominee. Well, now I'm going to give you a moment after I finish. I'll give you all the moments you want, okay? But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Look, but here's the deal. The next president, I do pay my taxes. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I'm the only one in either party who's released all 21 years of my tax return. Okay? 21 years. These millions of DACA kids, they're already Americans. They already know who they are. They already have the values. And it's in everybody's interest. It's everybody's interest that they be incorporated. It's everybody's interest that we educate everyone. That's why we have to triple the amount of money we spend on Title I schools in poor districts. We do that, we can send every single solitary kid to preschool, three years old, four years old, and five years old, exponentially increasing their prospect of success. nominations or nothing like that and I'm gonna have to see what happens but I think you know he, he's good at speaking. I feel like a large demographic of college students are really big like Obama supporters and since he was with the Obama administration I think they support him a lot too. LMU is a very privileged school and so I don't know if maybe they vote if they vote democratically so I'm not sure but at least the people I surround myself with we I think we